Hi, I'm doing good. I'm a little shaky. I don't know if it's because it's cold or if I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to this. I've prepared and I feel ready. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. And then you will hear a bell. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Louder than Lola. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is Isabella Rojas Ismael, but you may call me Bella as everybody else does. You may know me as a ballerina. I am also a psychology major and I'm very passionate about mental health. But I would say I'm also somebody who burns with a fire inside. And I think this is not expected of me because I look very calm and collected all the time. I look, I look shy sometimes. And I say that because I'm somebody who just burns with her own fi fire, and I'd say that's my strength. <laughs> I see. What is one beautiful word in your local, in your language, and what does it mean? Well, I speak Tagalog, and one of my favorite words is actually kilig. Because this is something that we can't really explain in English. There's a similar word, it's called giddy. But there's no explanation or no feeling like kilig. And it's something that I feel every time I take a step here, every time I feel like I'm so beautiful and confident. And it's something that I'd like to make people feel also when they meet me. I <laughs> <laughs> I grew up dancing ballet because I started at four years old and one of the most important things that I've learned is to learn how to be yourself in every situation that you're put in. So this is actually my first national pageant, so it's new to me. However, as we've gone through the different challenges, I've learned how to apply it myself in the situation, and I've learned how to grow and to shine as Isabella Ismael. That's the beauty that I've learned as a child in ballet where you have techniques, but you learn your own art, you learn your own Sorry. style. <laughs> During the pandemic, admittedly, of course, it wasn't easy for any of us. However, I was able to actually connect with myself. And as a beauty queen, you would expect somebody to be confident, to know exactly who she is, but it's not always the case. I was able to take time to meditate. I was able to take time to listen to myself. And I realized the value of knowing who you are. And I'm able to take that with me to today. You know, my outfit, this is me. It's pink, it's floral, it's ballet-ish, but you know, I feel very confident as myself, and I'm proud of that. Isabella, if you win, how do you plan to help your community? Well, I am very, very passionate about the mental health community, and I have a few people who are very close to me who go through mental illnesses. One of the things that I've learned is that it's not just those who suffer with the sickness who have a hard time, but it's also their families. And I would love to partner up with an organization and probably create a program or maybe support groups, not just for the person who's sick, but for their families, how they can cope, how they can help each other out, and how they can take care of themselves as well, because it's not easy, and we need to help each other out. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I would say blue. Blue, I know to be royal blue. I would say it's something that is so strong. It comes out confident and strong. However, it's also very warm, it's inviting, and it's something that you can trust. That's how I see the color blue. And a phenomenal woman is somebody who's confident in herself, is somebody who is calm, but is also somebody that you can trust to represent you, to tell your story. And that's why if I were to be the phenomenal woman, I would wear blue in, in everything. Uh, working from home, is now part of the new York. So what do you think are the skills needed in this so-called workplace of the future? Actually, I would say it's knowing how to rest and to take breaks. Working from home, we have less boundaries. We have the bedroom and then the workplace, and that's difficult. This is something that we can take even after the pandemic, even when we can go back to the normal life. We can take the learning of learning how to rest, knowing when to listen to your body, knowing when it's time for a break. 
because this will help us do better, this will help us develop, and this will help us understand ourselves even more. If there's one spot or one place, whether man-made or natural, that you want to promote in Paranaque, what would that be? In Paranaque, there's this place called the El Pipichea, and it's actually a bird sanctuary, and there are a lot of mangroves there too. It's very good for the environment, and I would love to promote that because I think it's very underrated, especially in Paranaque City. We're more focused on the modern side, but I think I would like to take everybody back to the traditional Paranaque, to the natural Paranaque. That's something that I would definitely talk about more, something that I would even visit, and right now it's being worked on, so hopefully when that's done, I can do more work there. Um, you know, you know, there's a campaign now to hashtag uh, Love Local. Yes. So I'd like to know what local products you want to promote and why. I would love to promote the binka. It's a food from Paranaque. It's, uh, it's a rice dessert, and it's one of the best rice desserts I've ever tried. And, you know, I'm Filipina. I was born and raised in Paranaque, but I just tried it earlier, earlier this year. It was something revolutionary, and I think a lot of people should try it out because not only is it, you know, it's, des it's delicious, but it's also full of culture. You can see the hard work that's put into it. You can see the Filipino culture that's in it, and I think that's something that we should be proud of, especially I, me as a Paranya Kenya. Well, one last question for you is, what is that one thing you think that young people should focus on? I would say young people should focus on their mental health. I'm very happy to see that it's something that is becoming more popular, it's a trend. However, when the trend fades, I would love for them to continue on with taking care of their mental health. It's something that I do every day, and I'm not perfect, nobody is. And I would love for the younger ones to know that. As they grow up, as they go through different struggles and challenges, it's important to make sure that we are mentally stable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I calmed you all. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, right now we are with Miss.